You have uh, always impressed me your ability to communicate. So you worked in radio while you were here. You did some radio outside of here as well. And it has occurred to me that you have sort of blended the uh, ability to um, communicate effectively with an audience and to boil down science to a, a way that is understandable for the masses, but not dumbed down, dumbed down, dumbed down. <laughs> I like the way you said that. <laughs> um, but uh, d d is there one that you like more than the other? Is it, is, is it the art of communicating? Is it the art of science? Or is it kind of both? Well, I think, I think it's worth stepping back a sec and saying, um, I think that my experience working for radio here on Z107.3, they're still around, right? They are still around, yes, right. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so this like wacky guy let me experiment on his uh, radio station when I when I was a grad student here because I didn't just want to talk about fish all day like the rest of my cohort I love them but it was mostly just lobsters and urchins and sea cucumbers and so this guy let me on his program and I realized very quickly that in science we often don't use these things called adjectives and uh, we're very careful and methodical about the way we describe things but by incorporating some very basic like social marketing communication strategies into the science, we can make it a lot more exciting, a lot more relatable, a lot more fun. And that really changed the trajectory of my career. Thank you, Danny Cashman. Hey, Aww. you're welcome. I appreciate that. <laughs> and it was during that point in my life that I realized that, as it turns out, sea cucumbers do have a lot in common with Britney Spears. Always. As it turns out. I had yeah, no idea. That's kind of why I got into it, for sure. <laughs> so um, you've, uh, you've now got this uh, PBS program, Serving Up Science, and it started locally in Michigan, right? And then it sort of uh, got taken in by, by PBS Digital and is now setting the world on fire. That's how we like to think of ourselves. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, food is such a good way to connect with people. And so we thought there's all of this science to what we do. I mean, there's this science to how we live and who we are. And food is a great entrance into that uh, without dumbing it down, but without being too technical. So what we do is we take topics like chocolate, for example, which we'll talk about later. Mm -hmm. But we just finished wrapping our second season of taping last week. So we have one coming on space food and plant-based meats and wine and beer. And so they're really fun topics that hopefully a lot of folks have experienced on their own. And we can talk a little bit about the science behind why we enjoy the things we do. I think it's great. I think the show is great. And I think that the, the fun you, uh, you put into it is great as well. It's not dry. It's very um, entertaining and enlightening. Um, what, what do you miss most about Maine? What was your favorite part of Maine? I, I, I could say, you know, I love the Red Hots or I love the, the, the camps in the summer. But my favorite thing, honestly, is the people. Um, the people I met when I lived here, and I mean this completely genuinely, uh, I had the nicest neighbors. If I was sick, my neighbors were bringing me tea and making sure I was doing okay because my family wasn't here. It was meeting people like you, Dan, and uh, just really getting to know the community that I loved so much. And even now, because I used to live in Old Town, so whenever I see an Old Town canoe go by, it just makes my heart happy. <laughs> Well, uh, I do miss it, so I do hope to get back. We, as Mainers, we have a lot of pride in this place, and it means a lot to hear you say things like that.